Next, stories. Stories will help you build belief. Now, there's some stories we can tell with our compliance rules inside of network marketing, and some we can't tell to the world, but there's a lot we can tell to each other, right? Because we're not going to be using that in order to, those, those, those stories in order to entice somebody to become a customer of our product. But, but if we get an amazing, unbelievable result, or somebody in your team gets an amazing, unbelievable result, learning that story builds belief, right? If you see somebody that had a problem and then they started taking your product or service and that problem ceased to exist, those symptoms went down. There's the, the solution was obvious. That builds belief, right? So you need to be telling stories. You need to be collecting stories constantly, constantly when it comes to your product in every possible way. If the, if the product is used by kids, collect stories, find out the stories from, from the kids. If it's used by young adults, get the stories from young adults. Men or women, get the stories. Different races, different ages, different backgrounds, different, different challenges. Get the stories on, those, on all of those different things because those stories shared with each other each other, not to prospects, to each other. I'm talking about you building belief, right? If, we need to, if you need to get your belief solid when it comes to the product, and you do, collect the stories. Not necessarily, some of them you won't be able to share with somebody on Facebook. You won't be able to share like publicly because it'll go against your compliance rules because it's not necessarily, so you, you see like when they do a, a commercial on television for you know, some drug. You know, you see what they say on those commercials? Here's what those commercials are. Um, do you have this particular problem? Whatever this problem is. Do you have erectile dysfunction? And then they see people frolicking in the fields and hugging each other and going on boat rides and canoe rides and kissing each other under the Eiffel Tower. And while they're showing all those symptoms, they're saying you could die. You could have blood come out of your ears. You could have an erection for 14 hours. Uh, you know, consult your physician and every possible thing terrible, horrible thing that could happen to a person, they say all this stuff could happen to you. While you're paddling in the canoe and you're giving your, you know, your wife flowers and all this other kind of stuff, right? They have to put all of that disclosure stuff into their advertising in order to be able to be compliant so it doesn't look like you're doing false advertising. They're protecting themselves, right? So inside of our world, since we are using word of mouth advertising, we can't, even if we get a, a particular result, let's say we, you know, somebody has a cancer symptom in their body, they start taking the product and all of a sudden their cancer symptom goes away. Or the doctor says the cancer's gone. And you believe it was the product that did it. You can't say to the world, this cures cancer. You just can't. Because it hasn't been clinically proven, it's not statistically valid over enough people, all different kinds of things that you can't say. But that doesn't mean we can't hear those stories within our organizations as reps ourselves, as customers distributors ourselves, and, and use those anecdotal stories to build our belief. We can, okay? So stories are a big deal. Personal experience, get an emotional connection and results yourself. Stories is another big area. This will start to build your belief in your products.